In this lecture, we are going to cover testing's contribution to success. Here, the learning objective is to give examples of why testing is necessary. This topic is marked as K2. The different levels of the software development cycle are requirement level where software requirements are written, then comes the design level where design is made. After that, comes the coding level where code is implemented. And finally, the complete software is ready for testing. Now with an example, we will understand how testing at these levels contributes to the success of the overall product. The first level is the requirement level. Here we will understand how testing during the requirement level will contribute to the success of the whole product or project. As we know, this is software development activities. In the requirement level, we start testing by reviewing the requirements. Reviewing is nothing but static testing, which means we are performing static testing on the requirements. We are doing this to detect the defects in these work products. Here, of course, the work products are just the requirements. So, why are we reviewing these requirements? It's to reduce the risk of incorrect or unstable functionality being developed. Let's see how. If there is something wrong or incorrect in the requirement, and if we don't spot it here, then that is how the entire project will be developed. This is what we have to stop by performing testing on the requirement. And if you do appropriate testing, which is the review here, it will contribute to the success factor. The next level is the design level. At the design level, we will get a system design document. Our job is to do a review on it. Since code is not available here, we can't run it. Therefore, we review it, which is a static testing technique. When we do this review, it will increase team members' understanding. So whether it is the tester, developer, or the process guys, everyone will have the same understanding after review. If everyone has the same understanding, it will help reduce the risk of fundamental design defects. So a review of the system design will reduce the risk of fundamental design defects. Let's go back to development activity. Right now, we are at the global and detailed design stage. If we carry out the testing here and find the mistake, then it will not go on to the implementation stage. We will send the correct software for the dynamic testing, and the product will be a success. If we don't do testing at this stage, then we will send a faulty design for implementation, and then we will be forced to go back to find the error. It's obvious now why testing at the design level is so important. It's because it contributes to the success of the whole project. Now let's discuss the third level of testing during the development process, and that is the coding level. So how does testing coding contribute to success? In the coding level, you have code under development. The code is being developed and you will perform static testing on it. The intention with this is to increase the understanding of that piece of code. What this does is, it reduces the risk of defects within the code. If there are any defects, we can find them out by reviewing the code through static testing. Now let's see an example to understand this point. Suppose this is the customer requirement. Check window moves up within 10 milliseconds once the button is pressed. For this requirement, the developer has written this code. Now, try and see if you can tell where the mistake is in this code. You can pause the video to analyze the code. Now I will show you where the error is here. The function looks right. But see here, the developer has written, if button is pressed for 10 milliseconds or less, then the window will move up. 
The requirement was for the window to move up within 10 milliseconds, not at 10 milliseconds. But the developer has included this equal to sign, which changes the result. Now, the window might not move up unless exactly 10 milliseconds has passed. This is how performing testing at the coding level can reveal mistakes in the code and contribute to the success of the whole project. Now let's discuss the final level of testing during the development process, and that is the software level. Once the software is ready, we verify and validate the software. Now that the software is functional and the codes are ready, we can perform dynamic testing on it. Once we perform dynamic testing, we can detect failures that might otherwise have been missed. If we don't do the testing at this level, then there is a fair chance that we will miss some errors, and they will finally be discovered when the software is in operational use. Next is removing the defects that caused the failures. So, we will fix the problems because of which the software is failing. This is where the debugging process we discussed comes into play. The tester finds the error and tells the developer who fixes the problem and sends it back to the tester to confirm that the error is fixed. And by doing all of this, our software will meet the stakeholders' needs. It will meet the customer's or the user's requirements. And that means everyone using the software will be happy. Finally, what we can conclude is, testing at the software level helps the product to succeed. Users will have an error-free software because you might have found the problems and fixed them before they used it. With this, we cover how testing at requirement, design, code, and software level contributes to the success of the product.